brother. Oh, I'm sure your mom and your dad are very happy that yourself and your brother aren't uh, fighting or causing any difficulties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you enjoy doing together with your brother usually? Um, with my brother, I like to, uh, I like to uh, riding bike in mm -hmm. outside and uh, I like to play with him. Okay, so you just like playing fun games together. And uh, where you live in Daegu, is, does it get very hot there in summertime? In, in summer, yeah, Daegu is very hot in summer. Okay, and so yeah. I think, are you happy that it's uh, you are in autumn now? Uh, autumn, um, yeah, I'm. Yeah, <laughs> I my favorite. Yeah, I like autumn. It's your favorite season. Yeah, my favorite season is autumn, and some people call it autumn. Uh, some people call autumn fall, right? That's right. Usually in in Canada. Um, and in America, they call autumn fall. Um, yeah, I know that. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. And tell me a little bit about your travels. Have you visited any countries on your side of the world or very far away from home? Um, I visit, um, I travel to uh, get outside in my country. I, I went to Guam uh, when I was when I was 10 years old, maybe when I was 10 years old, I went to Guam and I yes. swam at the beach and I saw a seabird and I eat delicious food. In Guam. And do you remember, I know you were pretty young, I know it was two years ago, but how long did it take you to travel to get to Guam? In Guam? Mm -hmm. How long? Maybe five hours to go to Guam. Five hours, no. yeah. That's not such a long flight. I think that's, um, yes, that's a quick flight, I think. Yeah, that's right. And I like, um, I like riding bike, riding plane. I like. Do you like flying on a plane? Yeah, I like flying on the plane. So five hours is not that too long to me. No, it's definitely not long, and especially if you're going to a beautiful um, small island like in Guam. Um, yeah. I, I think flying, do you know what's really far for me? I love flying too. I do get a little afraid when we experience turbulence and when we just take off. Um, yeah. We flew from here to Hong Kong and Hong Kong to Thailand, and it took 17 hours from well, my 17 hours? Mm. Wow. <laughs> well, I think that's a lot. It is a very long time, but um, it's nice and relaxing on a flight. You can watch some movies, you can maybe read a book, or um, also eat some nice food, I think. Yeah. I know. Oh, by the way, I know that we can eat food in airplane, but can we... You said you can watch movie at airplane, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, how... What uh, when I was in airplane, I don't, uh, I don't watch movie. How can you watch movie? Did airplane show you movie or you mm -hmm. like at the back you... of of our screen? So like, let's say I'm sitting here and the person in front of me. So the the seat has a small television, and then you can you can play games, you can read news, you can listen to music. Um, so usually they have a screen at the on the seat in front of you. Oh, really? That's a surprise. I didn't know yeah. that. That's very cool. Maybe it's because you haven't been on a very long flight. Yeah. Um, but is five hours the longest that you've flown? Yeah. Okay. Uh, on yeah. Airbus. Maybe it's because our flight was a very long one. So can you imagine not having any entertainment for like, 17 hours and you don't even have a book or anything uh it would be extremely oh, well, boring <laughs> yeah that's very boring yes so do you remember much um from your trip to guam with your family uh yeah mm -hmm. i remember it now okay well what did you what did you eat and what did you do because it looks to me i'm just looking here 
Um, I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. I'll share my screen with you, David. Um, there we go. So oh. that's kind of like, this is the island, right? Yeah, that's right. What did you do on this really small island? Um, uh, I swam at there and uh, wow. I went to restaurant and I ate a Guam's food. I ate United States food. Oh. And that is very delicious. Was it really delicious? Um, yeah. Was it traditional food from the island of Guam? Um, I don't know about Guam food, so I don't know, but that was very delicious. Okay. And have you traveled to any other countries besides uh, Guam? Um, no, only Guam. But yeah, only Guam. How about you? Um, to England five years ago. I just Googled your city's name so you could tell me. Um, to England, Turkey, and Thailand. Oh, really? Wow. You travel mm. a lot. A lot mm. than me. <laughs> well, um, I think maybe we'll probably only travel in a couple of years again because we don't know when we'll be able to travel into other countries. Um, yeah. What? Tell me about, about your city. What is there okay. to do? Uh, what? What? What was that? What do you have in in Daegu that's very special? What can you do uh, there? Um, I in special there is a. Uh, Wait a minute. Sure. Okay, I will find it. Um, that, uh, how can I say? I don't. I can say. In, I can say in the name of. No. Mm -hmm. there like, you, well, yes. Let me think. Um, what is uh, special in there? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about. Mm -hmm. I don't know about it. Um, do you have any traditional food specifically that's very famous in your city? Um, in Daegu? yeah, kimchi. Yeah, kimchi oh. is very famous in Daegu and all in uh -huh. Korea. The whole yeah. Korea. I've heard of, of it. Um, I've never yeah. eaten any Korean food before, but I yeah. heard that your food is quite spicy and hot. Um, I don't think so. Kimchi is not that spicy and it is really? delicious. Uh -huh. Yeah, when you eat bitters food, if and when you eat bitters food and you can have a kimchi and it is very good. Oh, okay. And I know that you've just uh, celebrated a special holiday with your family this past few days. Yeah. Um, as I understand it, it's called Chusok. Chusok. Yeah, that's right. Yes. What did you do with your family? Um, in Chusok, I I visited my grandparent, a grandparent, uh -huh. and I my mom makes delicious food in my grandmother's house. Yes. And we ate delicious food and we play, and uh, what else? And I, uh, yeah, I play and I eat. Yeah, Chuseok was very great. Oh, fantastic. So your mom cooked delicious food. And do you would you normally, as a 12-year-old and your brother being 10, would you usually get a gift from your family during this um, special celebration? Um, no, we actually haven't. Oh, you don't usually. And, um, yeah. your, and your second most important holiday is at New Year at celebration. New Year? New Year celebrations. Um, New Year celebration. Uh, what mm. can you say that again? Sure. What other big celebrations do you take part in with your family? Uh, with my. Do you, do you celebrate family? Christmas? Um. Yeah, Christmas and birthday. Christmas and birthdays are special. Yeah, bir birthday and Christmas. My uh -huh. mom and Christmas. My mm -hmm. mom and dad give me presents. Oh, and, do they usually? <laughs> yeah, and birthday, I, I'm helping. I buy cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes I buy cake in my dad or mom's birthday. 
Okay, I see. And when is your birthday? Um, my birthday is January 23. 23rd of January. My mother's birthday is the 22nd of January. Oh. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, will you be turning 13 years old next year, January? Uh, what? 13 will years you, old? Will you be 13 or 12 years old next year? Uh, next year, I will be uh, 13. Oh, wow. Okay. Is it a special celebration when you turn 13 in your um, culture? Um, yeah. I go to school and they... Yes, yeah, special. Uh, what is special in New Year? Well, let me think. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I go to new class and I met I meet new friends. Ah, oh, so you'll go to a new class and meet new friends. Um, yeah. When will you? Because then you'll be thirteen. Do in Korea do you go to middle school and then high school? No, 13, I go to elementary school, and when I become 14, I will I will go middle school. Oh, so next year is your last year of being in elementary school. Yeah, that's right. Wow, that's so exciting. And then in two years' time, you'll be going to middle school. I think that would be... And then you'll make lots of new friends, too. Um, what? You'll have what, probably new friends when you go to middle school. Um, yeah, that's right. I uh -huh. make new friends in middle school. In middle school. Um, and I think, um, do you do you play any sports or any musical instruments at school? Uh, at school? Or do you just play uh, casually with your friends on the playground? Uh, playground? What mm -hmm. do I usually play in playground? Yes, uh, during I your play... recess time. Uh, what did I play? I don't know. Um, soccer with your friends? Um, soccer? No, I don't play soccer. Uh, I play, uh, I play dodgeball. Do you play dodgeball during your recess time? Um, yeah, in... Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah, that's right. Dodgeball. Is it not? Doesn't that make you feel a little bit scared when you're playing dodgeball? <laughs> uh, no. No. Why? Yeah. Really? Oh my goodness! Because sometimes, I mean, if they take that ball and they throw it at you quite hard, I mean, it could be quite painful if they have to like hit you somewhere on your body with the ball. Yeah. Then I will out. But I will. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh -huh. I don't move back. Sometimes oh, you don't move back. When I was scared, I move back. But yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, you don't I... really take a chance to run across and risk getting hit by a ball. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, and also, uh, do you play any like any musical instruments like the piano or the violin or anything like that? Um, musical instruments. Mm hmm. I now. I play musical instrument all, uh, uh, how can I, wait, wait a minute. Sure, no problem. It. Uh, uh, danso. do you know danso? No, is it a Korean? Oh, yeah. Traditional yeah, instrument? Yeah, danso is Korean danso. traditional yeah, okay. musical instrument. What would you say it's quite similar to? Uh, what what? What is I it can... quite similar to? Like is it quite uh, similar to like like a violin? Violin no, or no. piano? No? Is it similar to like a recorder? Okay, okay, okay. It's quite similar to a recorder. Um, yeah. Okay, very interesting. David, you spoke so oh. nicely with me. I enjoyed my time with you. And you're a very smart boy. Oh, really? You think so? Yes, I definitely think so. Without a doubt. Oh, thanks. 
Yeah, thanks for saying that. That means a lot to me. That's oh, yeah, great. the time is almost up. Our time is almost up. Have a fantastic evening. It was good to meet you. Yeah, bye. Have bye. a